The Kamloops Fire Center has five prescribed burns planned for this spring as a part of their toolkit to help reduce wildfire risk management for communities. Prescribed burning helps to reintroduce fire back into the landscape under specific conditions to help meet um, specific land management objectives. So there are many reasons as to why you could um, have a prescribed fire that could help achieve those la land management objectives. None of the prescribed burns have taken place yet in the Kamloops Fire Center as fire crews wait on better weather and ideal conditions. Coming up here with some of the warmer and drier weather that we've had over the last little bit here. Um, so we may see some of those burns take place kind of um, around the Peachland and Penticton areas. While smoke has been seen around the valley these past few weeks, those burns are not being completed by BC Wildfire Service. We often get calls at this time of year when people see smoke. Um, everybody's just wanting to know what's going on. So these aren't always associated with BC Wildfire. These might be private landowners conducting their own burning, as mentioned, for Category 2 backyard burning or industrial um, burning as well for Category 3 burning. Fire Department from across the province will be coming to train at the 5th Wildfire Training Symposium in Penticton. Currently, the event is looking for volunteers who live around a forested area to participate by allowing their properties to be used for practice. Looking for people with homes that get back onto the, the interface areas that were to support the symposium with uh, some of the courses that we're providing. Uh, the trucks will be doing their different uh, setups, so mainly on the street, stretching lines in through the properties into the back and setting up. Uh, they could be setting up different uh, hose configurations, uh, sprinklers, uh, protection lines, and different things, different techniques that they'll be uh, learning in, in the course. In the meantime, residents are reminded to stay aware and fire smart their properties. For CastNet News, I'm Casey Richardson.